So, uh, To Wong, and this is Naveed. And a few years ago we met, and, uh, and uh, I think Naveed witnessed something amazing happen under hypnosis I'm with me. I had a severe Bell's palsy and it didn't, didn't, didn't get better. And uh, <coughs> I had no hope from conventional medicine. They said it's tough enough, you've got to cope with this for the rest of your life. That's fine. I didn't mind that, I just was a bit depressed. And so then, under hypnosis, my face started to move. And then we thought, well, what else can all this stuff do? So then we started exchanging information, going to lectures, learning, uh, going to other conferences on hypnosis, NLP. Uh, uh, I've done acupuncture for years, but I've never you know, seen the things that this could do. And I know listening to some of you here who've, who've had these amazing uh, experiences. So we, we thought, how are we going to spread the word and get people to know about these options that are out there? So that, you know, if you don't believe that someone should just have conventional therapy, that maybe there's, the answer lies in, in a mixture of complementary and conventional therapy. And how, how are you going to know, learn this? And so we set up a, last year a two-day conference uh, and with 36 speakers over to two days with three different rooms, everyone choosing what they want to see and what they want to learn about. And that's what we've, we achieved last year. We had over 100 uh, doctors and complementary therapists. And what we found was that complementary therapists were just uh, uh, as surprised that the doctors were there, and the doctors were really surprised about what all this was all about and what it could achieve. And so there, is, there are younger doctors out there, and we're not that young, uh, 40. It's, that's young. Uh, <laughs> and, and, but there are younger doctors out there who are interested in this sort of thing. Uh, we're interested in choice and interested in other approaches that will make our lives better. And this step goes on to, to people who would be extremely interested in the, the integrated uh, medicine diploma. And so, so, yeah. so, so we started our journeys um, many years ago just exploring different alternative options for patients, recognising that Western medicine actually is limited in certain areas. So, Joe and I banged our heads together and we, we started training in hypnosis and acupuncture and then starting to look, actually there's so many other different options out there. So one of the um, kind of drivers for us to putting together this kind of health convention which uh, brought together lots and lots of different experts from lots of different um, backgrounds. Amanda very eloquently put this uh, last year as kind of a buffet of integrative health uh, and complementary medicine. And like Joe said, last year we, we ran this uh, and we were very successful. We had about 120, 130 uh, delegates turn up. Um, and this year we're running it again in October uh, in, in London, the first weekend of October, where Michael has very kindly offered to provide the, or do the keynote for us on the Saturday morning. And then we're going to run a similar format where we're going to have three rooms and over 30 different experts from lots of different uh, complementary areas. And even before we started this, when we, we started looking at the different, we had no idea about the different options that are out there. You know, we've got experts coming to speak to us from Qigong and Shihatsu and Ayurvedic and homeopathy, all the different complementary uh, fields. Are, we're trying to represent as many as we can here. And, and how this year we're also having about how these things are now integrated within the NHS and uh, other parts of the health service. So it'll be quite interesting for everyone if you wanted to find out very quickly and, and uh, succinctly to just here in London itself in October. So there's a discount code for everyone and you can share with your friends as well. Well, Thank you both, and I think your story is one that a lot of us would empathise with, finding that actually you're not finding the answers from the conventional means, and you have to go elsewhere. And uh, seeing is believing in some ways, isn't it? Yes, double blind placebo control trials can tell you something, but if it's changed you, then that's, that's a really big message. Uh, and you know, the, these two are real paragons, I think, of people who have grabbed the baton and run. Um, I have to say, I embarrassed them, but these two created that conference last year, literally a financial risk to themselves in central London. You know, they believed in it that much, and, that, uh, and that's why we've absolutely put our support behind them, why they're now members of the council, and why I believe they are the future. So please tell everyone about that conference and the food conference, and let's make sure that we make a real noise. Thank you both. Thank you.